Every defensive tactics and self-defense technique taught to law enforcement officers is derived from the martial arts. Defensive tactics, like every other tactic, including firearms, is a perishable skill that has to be trained. Police officers don't train and stay proficient in defensive tactics. You're joining a profession where your job is control other human beings. It would make sense if you're good at it. Okay. This is a fight. You gotta do this two to three times a week, year rounds, continuously, to make sure that when you're in that high pressure situation, that those are the techniques that come out. When you train in martial arts, it allows you the opportunity to experience those things. And it's not the first time is when you're out there on the street when Lucifer has decided he's not going back to jail that day. The bad guy controls the fight. The bad guy controls the location. The bad guy controls the level of violence. And the bad guy controls the length of the fight. Agencies often treat training as almost like a vaccine, right? They, one shot in the arm and you're done. That we care enough about our officers that we're going to devote time and money and effort into training so that our people come home every night. When I'm in a physical altercation with a citizen, I have to win because if I lose, there's a good chance I'm going to die. It's mind-blowing to me that anybody would think that you don't need to spend time recovering from something so intense. As cops, we don't live as long as our civilian counterparts. That's got to change. I'm more or less likely to use force knowing I can use force effectively.